I was recently asked would I share how I cut a mango up. I'll be glad to. But let me say this right off. There is no right or wrong way as long as you get the end result. I would suggest you look at several different methods and try them out. See what works best for you. What I'm going to show you now is not what I was taught to do as a child, but it works. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elise. I'm glad you stopped by. We're in the kitchen today. Not a good day to be outside. And I have a couple of mangoes that I want to cut up. Take the seeds out. Perfect timing. These are Kent mangoes. We got them at the grocery store. I did not grow them. Kent is a fantastic mango. It's large, it's sweet, it's juicy, low fiber, low resin. Really good mango. When I was coming up, we were taught to take the mango and just peel it like you would an apple or an orange. And then, of course, as kids, we would be sitting out underneath a tree and we would just start biting into the mango and get juice all over us and all down our arms and our clothes. But it didn't matter. We were kids out playing in the summertime or whatever time of year it was. I have very fond memories of mango. It is my favorite fruit. And it is the favorite fruit of many people across the world. And it is grown everywhere in tropical and subtropical climates and even in temperate climates people will grow the dwarf varieties and overwinter them so anybody can grow a mango if they really want to about 1500 varieties and they aren't even sure how many varieties of mangoes there are because people do grow the seeds out and come up with new varieties all the time in their backyard about 300 to 400 commercial varieties shit worldwide. But this is my next to my favorite. My very favorite mango is the Atafo or honey mango. Okay, let's get started. Several ways. You will need a sharp knife, and this is a disclaimer, folks. This is a sharp knife. It will cut you. Move this one out of the way. I have washed them. I've washed my knife, the plates, the bowls. I have a little bowl of water. I have a couple of empty bowls, one for scraps and one to put the mango in. What I want to do is slice down vertically on both sides, cutting next to the husk that's inside. Mangoes have a very hard husk. If you aren't comfortable holding the mango in your hand, you can always put it fat aside down and then put your knife in and go down. Once you start your knife in you can feel that husk and then just gently go down. I've only done this hundreds of times so I'm quite comfortable. If you want to hold it and you still aren't very comfortable you can always put a paper towel excuse me hit the camera a washcloth, a dish towel, anything like that. Whatever makes you comfortable. Alright, so I'm going to start my knife up at the narrowest end and just put it in and I'll be able to feel that husk. Then I'm going to just slide my knife down following that husk. Wow, isn't that pretty? Smells fantastic. So let's do the other side. Put the knife in, find the husk, and just follow that husk down. If you've got a really big mango and a small knife, sometimes you have to make a couple of cuts. Now we're going to clean the side off. Just put your knife in, follow the husk down. And this is what they used to call the chef's piece, the cook piece, or in my case, the camera person's piece. Mmm, yum. <laughs> I'll put that aside over there on my paper towel. Now the other side. That's it. What you can do now is you can come in here 
and cut a little bit more of this. There's not much. It looks like there is, but it's really attached to the husk now. Just scrape it off. Look at all that juice. And if you do this over a bowl or a plate that you can save it, this is fantastic to go in your juices, sauces, anything like that. So there's my husk. Look at all the juice on that plate. All right, now we're ready to cut. Several ways to cut here. It is up to you. In fact, I saw a very old Agatha, Agatha Christie's ver, um, presentation of Hercule Poirot where he took a tablespoon and did the mango. And you can do that. You can just go in with your tablespoon, work it around under the flesh as close as you can comfortably get. To the skin really don't want to break the skin and come back up and you have a perfect little hunk of mango make a beautiful presentation with that clean the edges up just a little bit and I only missed a little bit in here again this can go into your saucepan your juice pan okay so we've got that pretty well done. Won't be wasted. I'm putting this over in my scrap bowl. And what's going to happen is it's going to go to my vermicompost, to my worms. It will go to the chickens next door. To, if you have livestock, you can feed livestock with it. You can put it in your compost pile. You can earth compost with it. You can put it out for your little wild creatures if you live in an area where you can do that. Okay, another way to cut your mango. This is called the hedgehog or porcupine method. And from what I understand, it was started by chefs that wanted a faster, prettier presentation. Again, put something underneath your, the mango between your hand if you are comfortable. Just lightly score the mango. Don't go through the skin. And you can feel a little bit of pressure on the skin. You know how far you're going. <clears throat> Excuse me. After you've done a few, there won't be any problem. Just lightly score it. And you can make the score marks any size that you want. If you do go through a little bit, don't worry about it. You're using very, very light pressure. All right, that's scored. Now I'm just going to pop it. Isn't that neat? <laughs> and that is where your hedgehog or your porcupine comes from. Now, a hint. <laughs> Have a big bowl ready to receive your mango. I have found if I have a small container, invariably the mango is going to go all over. Y'all, just take your knife and cut your squares off. You can do big squares, little squares, you can do slices. If you have a large enough mango and you have one of those little small melon ballers, you can even make melon balls with it. But now you have these really nice little hunks of mango. Scrape your skin, get all the juice, all the pulp, that is wonderful in salads and in sauces and juices. And you still have your whole pieces for presentation. And there's my perfect skin. Now, you can, if you're real, really industrious, you can save this skin, pile your fruit back up in it, and serve this as a mango boat. The little side pieces, you can just slice a little bit, what you don't eat, <laughs> and cut it up. Scrape it a little bit. That's how easy it is. Pretty. 
Okay. Let's extract a seed. First off, if you want to plant a mango seed, you don't even have to extract it out of the husk. You can plant it just like this. Just scrape all the pulp off, wash it some, put it in the pot or put it in the ground just like it is, like it does in nature. We extract the seed because being humans in a rush, <laughs> we want it to germinate fast. The riper your seed, your mango, normally, the easier it is to extract the seed, but not always. All right, you can use your knife, you can use a butter knife. Some folks take a pair of scissors and just cut down the edge. Be very careful you don't hit your embryo. You can use paper towels to hold it. You can hold it in your hand whatever you want to do. And see, this one has already started opening, so I know exactly where the crack is. Now let me show you something first. If you aren't sure of what side to cut on, you're going to have a smooth side. That's not where you cut. That would be easy. <laughs> what you want is the side that has all the fiber on it, and it curves. And where it curves, that's where your seed is. So I don't want to stick my knife right down in there and poke that embryo. I'm going to start here a little bit. Keep your fingers curled down, your thumb out of the way. Put your knife tip in. Point the knife tip up. And see, to me, the paper towel is in my way. So point your knife tip up just very easily go through it. Go through here a little bit. That seed is already extruding so I'm going to stop and be very very careful with it. I put my thumbs on both sides and pull it apart. You should be able to hear it crack. Wow and that is a nice size seed. This paper covering is just that. It's just a skin on the outside to help protect the embryo. You can leave it or you can take it off. Whatever. One thing about mango seeds, avocado seeds, uh, many citrus trees, uh, the seeds, tropical seeds particularly, they are what are called recalcitrant seeds, which simply means they won't last a long time. They don't hold their viability. So as soon as you get a seed out, you want to do something with it. If you don't have time to go out and plant it, just rinse it off, wrap it up in a paper towel, moist paper towel, put it in a Ziploc bag and hold it. Now there is also a way to germinate the seed using wet paper towels and you can do that also. And there's another video that I'll be doing and sharing with you where we go into that a little bit more detail. But that is a pretty seed. Nice size. Always though the size of the seed does not correlate with the size of the mango. I've actually had huge mangoes before and little bitty seeds. All right. Let's clean this up just a little bit. Let's do this one. So how do you tell if your mango is ripe? You can use the thumb test. If your thumb leaves a little bitty indent that it's soft, it's ripe. Of course, smell. This smells fantastic. It smells sweet. Color. You can't always tell by color because different varieties will have different colors. In fact, there's some colors, um, excuse me, some varieties that stay green. I call these blush mangoes because they do get this red blush on them. All right, we're going to start again up at the top, inserting the knife, filling for the husk, and coming down. Beautiful. Other side. Once you get the hang of this, it does not take long at all. You can do a whole box of mangoes in no time at all. Really pretty. Now do your sides.
scrape your husk off, get all that good pulp, all that good juice off. Or actually, you can sit here and gnaw it off. Some people like to do that. I like to do it. But I was brought up eating mangoes that way. Now, this one has already started opening up also. Again, keep your fingers down, curled down. Just the knife tip barely in that crack. If it hasn't started opening for you, put your knife tip down in and just gently kind of feel your way around until you find that crack. I'm going to put my thumbs in. Hear the crack. And there's the seed. Isn't that pretty? And in fact, this one has already started sprouting. Nice. Wow. <clears throat> Rinse it off a little bit. And again, if you don't have time to plant them right then, put them in a wet paper towel, in a baggie, plant them as soon as you can. Recalcitrant seeds cannot be stored in cold and they cannot be dried. more you do it, faster you get. And again, I'm saving these side pieces for me to eat. Hold it gently, score it slowly, don't cut the skin if possible. Make your scores any size you wish, as small as you wish, as large as you wish. The riper your mango though, Sometimes it gets really mushy. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Cut it off. That's it. I'm going to scrape this now. Get all the extra juice, all that pulp off. See if I can do this really fast. Make big scores. And you have big hunks. Neat. Neat. It's up to you what you want to do. That's it, folks. Until we talk again. Have a fantastic mango day.